All right, should be recording now. So basically, I'm gonna do a tutorial on taking these guys out at level one, and uh, all these strats that I'll show you do apply for any level. So as you can see, my stats are level one. All these guys can be beaten. No, I don't wanna say relatively easily, but decently at level one. All right, so first of all, the first thing I have to explain is uh, what a DM is. It's a desperation move, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to deal with all of them on all the fights. It's usually signified by the background turning very dark, and it's their ultimate attack. And second of all, I'll be explaining revenge values a little bit so that you understand what I mean. We have, a, we have basically two different kinds of revenge values. We have forced revenge value and normal revenge value. The game has like a hidden meter that kind of explains... Well, it kind of like stops bosses from getting wrecked by combos constantly, so you can only do like say a couple combos or even one combo sometimes depending on what it is before they break out and just attack you immediately. That's called force revenge value and we purposely hit that on some bosses uh, so that we can predict what they're going to counter with. And then you have normal revenge which is basically not hitting the revenge value and letting them attack you and that also can lead to looping or predictability in fights. So knowing that, we're going to jump right into Zaldin, and I'm not going to do the DM skip because I'm going to show you how to deal with the DM. For that fight, you're going to want to have Guardian Soul because you're going to be using jumps, so that's a lot of reflect damage. Uh, abilities, uh, make sure you have your reflects, or sorry, uh, reaction ups on. And we'll jump right into the fight. I'll try my best to explain this uh, while pausing and... Hopefully, like, I don't die a lot or something on any of them while trying to explain them. Alright, I'll, I'll start the timer for fun. It doesn't mean anything. Alright. So, this dude starts off a little bit differently than the normal version. He shoots the orbs at you, and uh, you can guard them or dodge them. Of uh, The important note here is he doesn't have his windshield up immediately like he does in the normal version, so I can simply walk a little forward and reflect into an aerial dive. Like this, and then I get a free combo. There, I hit his revenge value, right? So he's going to auto-counter with uh, whatever he wants, which happens to be the wind guard right now. So now he will uh, probably walk f uh, slowly towards me. Oh, no. Now he buried him. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I got jumps. I'm gonna refresh uh, his AI a bit. Alright, so that was forced uh, revenge. This is normal revenge, where he's gonna either lunge at me, most likely, or win guardian. So I'm gonna go to a safe distance. Alright, he win guarded. Now he should move slowly. Win guard again. That happens. So now he's walking slowly, and I'm going to try to get a guard. Guard, and then I mash triangle to get jumps. I wait till he spins around so I don't whiff a jump, and then I get all this damage in on him, right? You you can go for a combo after these, but it's a bit risky because sometimes he doesn't stagger easy. Alright, so there we are again. We didn't hit his revenge value, so he's not going to attack immediately, but as soon as he's done like flipping around, he can lunge at me or win guard again. So he didn't lunge, now he's gonna lunge probably though. Hmm, okay, not yet. So I gotta deal a little bit more damage to him to get him into the next phase. In the first phase he walks slowly like that, but after the first phase he's not gonna do that anymore. He's gonna lunge really fast at you, so you need to be on guard for that. So let's see if he does it now. There it is. I kept at a safe distance so his wind guard didn't hit me before the guard. If you're too close to him, you're gonna get really fucked up. So I'm gonna keep going as normal, so that you can pretty much loop him like this by not hitting his revenge value. He's gonna keep refreshing his AI there. Another lunge. Another nine jumps. Pretty easy, right? So now we're coming up on his next HP barrier for the last phase of the fight, which he's gonna start DMing. And right here is where it is. Any more damage than this, and he'll start DMing. So after I do all this, he's either going to do a jump move or DM, most likely. So I'm going to back off for safety. Alright, teleporting. And there he is, DM. I kept at a safe distance so that I could avoid all of that. So you just move away from that. You can guard it, no problem, right? This move, you have uh, a few different ways to dodge it, but 
The way I prefer it is just either quick run through it or dodge roll, but you can reflect, but it kind of like pushes you with it, so you gotta be a little careful. But it's pretty easy to dodge. Okay, so in the data version, every time after this, he will win guard, so you can't just reflect uh, win guard away in this version of the fight. You have to actually uh, do something different, unfortunately. But uh, we have a uh, basically some kind of strat to get him to jump up in the air. So this is probably the best way, and I should have it shortcutted. Yeah. So I'm basically, as yeah, so he teleports, going to jump magnet. And now he wind guarded again, and what I'm going to keep doing is doing it until he jumps again. Jump. There it is, okay. So now he's doing his jump attack, and uh, basically if you have aerial dodge, which you should at this point in the data fight, uh, you just aerial dodge away from the uh, lances while mashing triangle to get jumps. Oh god, <laughs> that was uh, it's hard to pause and do this. And you, you get a ton of jumps. Alright, so now he's going to end it, and as soon as these lances disappear, he's going to come right down, so I'm going to reflect into a jump to get maximum damage on him. Did a little early, but it still worked. Okay, so... I did so much damage to him right now, he's probably going to DM right after this, but I don't want to hit his revenge value. That's risky, so I'm going to back away again. And there he is, instant DM again. I'll show it one more time, and then I'll just probably die. I don't want to do the whole fight. It takes too long. Oh, yeah. Remove the text. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. I quick ran that time and said dodge roll. As you can see, you have different ways to dodge it. Make sure I have MP. Double jump. Magnet on the teleport. He didn't jump. Gotta do it again. Double jump. Magnet. He can troll as long as he wants, by the way, so, yeah. It's complete luck. Double jump magnet. There it is. This is basically the whole last phase. It makes this fight very trivial if you do this strat. If you do it any differently, you make it much harder. Alright, so I'm just going to die to this so we can move on. Alright, we'll say we're done with uh, Zaldin. Wow, that took a while to show up. Okay. So we're going to move on to Zigbar now. Alright, Zigbar can be considered one of the harder ones if you're a low level because he is very fast at sniping, but uh, Reflex Bam in that fight actually works really well if you're smart about it, so we're going to set up for that. So first of all, we're doing air combos mostly on him, so the best Keyblade is probably uh, Hero's Crest. Uh, actually... Nah, yeah, I'll stick with Hero's Crest. You can use Star Seeker too for an extra horizontal slash, or you can just use Hero's Crest for the air combo boost ability. And uh, we're going to put on all of our combo pluses, because when we're on the ground, we're going to be reflect spamming, and when we're in the air, we're going to be doing extra combos. So that's how you're going to want to set up for this fight. Yeah, my bad on the text. I completely forgot. <laughs> I, I can't really read the chat during this that much. Alright, so yeah, this this fight is uh, going to be pretty tough to pause during the do it, so hopefully it doesn't get me killed, but I'll try. Okay, so the trick with this fight is uh, he actually does not reload in it at all, but he can get stunned if you uh, guard or reflect the bullets back at him, so we're going to be, for safety, reflecting back at him so he don't get shot in the back. Alright, so at the beginning of this fight, he always transforms the arena, unlike the normal version of the fight. So I'm going to be getting ready to uh, reflect as soon as he starts shooting. Okay, so this is the one where he shoots the fastest. Alright, so I reflected two rounds directly at him. He's going to get stunned. And uh, I have to quickly get around to him. So you can do that with a glide or you can uh, do something else if you have some other method. There you go, full combo. The finisher knocked him out of that arena. And now he's going to counter me with bullets, right? So all I'm going to do is just reflect all of them back at him while targeting him. So that connected just fine. Full combo, bam. He's going to teleport. He's going to shoot again. He got stunned again. And this is basically most of the fight up until the DM phase. He's going to transform the arena again most likely. So I'm going to try to speed through this best I can. So that's all it should take is two rounds if both rounds hit him. 
to st uh, stun him. I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna actually speed this up a bit uh, with a duck player. Alright, so we're getting pretty close to the DM phase. Next bar is DM phase. Okay, this is gonna be where it's tricky to explain. Alright, so uh, the HP barrier for his last phase is literally like one attack away, basically. So, what you wanna do if you wanna skip the DM phase, which is very helpful for casual players, uh, is just don't do a finisher to him and you won't hit his revenge value, and if you don't hit his revenge value, he will always counter you with uh, normal shooting bullets, right? So you can just keep guarding them back at him with Reflect. So let's try that. Reflect, and stunned again. So right now he's in the DM phase, but he's not DMing. He's being very predictable, right? You gotta be careful, you can do that. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna show what happens if he does DM, so let's go ham on him. Hopefully I don't die doing this. So now he's DMing, right? Uh, the It's hard to explain this, so visually you're gonna have to look at how I dodge this. He's gonna spin around in a circle real quick, so you just jump over it. And see how I'm in this corner? He's gonna kinda go around counterclockwise, so you kinda just follow him so you don't get hit like this. It's really, really easy. Okay, so now he starts the final part of it, right? So, uh, you can walk around, but or limit even, but uh, if you don't want to waste any resources or chance dying by walking, you can just glide around. Just make sure you don't, like, bonk into the side walls too, uh, too sharply, I guess. And this is glide dodging it. Alright, so he's not vulnerable quite yet, but now we're back to the normal arena, so we're just gonna do the same thing we've been doing, which is Reflect Spam. Okay. Alright, now he's staggered. Now he can just uh, start up the loop again. I mean, you can get DM'd if you keep doing finishers, but yeah. I, I guess I'll just beat him at this point. <laughs> There's no reason for me not to. So yeah, this is this is Zigbar. If you're not doing finishers, it might be better for Star Seeker overall, so consider that as well if you're playing casually. You get an extra horizontal slash. And that's Zigbar. And yes, I will probably put this on YouTube. Alright, so that's two org fights down. You know now how to loop him in his last phase and how to deal with the DM if you mess up. So, this whole fight is basically being safe for Reflex. You can't just spam Reflect though, you have to time them pretty well or else he'll shoot you in between the Reflega finishers. So you have to be very uh, careful about that. And, and like, like I said, always make sure you target him when you Reflect so that it bounces back at him and not at like a wall. Okay, next we got a uh, good old Luck Sword. Uh, there's not really an easy specific setup for this. You can do really whatever you want, but uh, I'm gonna be doing mostly ground combos, so I'm gonna put on Decisive Pumpkin because it has combo boost on the ground. Um, I'm gonna take off a combo boost, or uh, sorry, a combo plus. There's not really a specific reason casually to do that, and I don't want Magnet on right now. I'm gonna put on Thunder. I probably I'm not gonna do the speedrun strat. Okay. Uh, once again, DM stands for Desperation Move. It's uh, the org member's ultimate attacks, where the screen usually turns dark. So, so far I've taught you how to dodge both Zaldans and Zigbars with relative ease. Alright, so this fight works almost identically to the original. Uh, it starts off a little different. You don't get put into a dice unless you mess up. Oh, I should have taken off Form Boost. That's something you should do, is take off Form Boost, because if you get hit with a dice, uh, it runs out faster. Okay, so now we're uh, going to do Luxord. He starts off with a mini game, so you can choose to do it if you feel like you can time it. It's pretty fast, so let me try it. 
Alright, so you got it, right? It basically scrolls down and down, and whichever uh, slot you are on the command menu, you pretty much uh, press confirm as soon as uh, the circle is on it. If you mess it up, he turns you into a die or a card, so you don't want that to happen. Uh, so now he's uh, wide open to an attack, so uh, we're gonna do a full combo, and he'll that hits his revenge value, so now we're gonna keep our distance so he doesn't kill us with that move. So now he's doing this again, we get a free uh, minion. And now yet another free combo, okay. So now he's at the time bar where he's gonna do the underground move, and uh, this this is interesting. If I do a finisher that uh, hits his revenge value while he's on the ground, such as like a Blizzaga finisher, uh, fire most of the time, or thunder, he's gonna go into either uh, two predictable moves. He'll either do the mini game again or the jumping card move. So let's see if I did this. There. So now he chose the mini game. So we're gonna try it again. Alright, so that, once again, this is going to be predictable. I'm going to hit him with a grounded uh, finisher of uh, some sort. You don't want to do explosion, because that's an area. That sends them in the air, so he'll counter in the air when I hit his revenge value. So hit do Blizzard again. So he's, gonna, he's doing this again, but uh, I kind of want to show what to do if you mess up, so I'm going to make him retaliate there. Now he's going to go underground with this. This is just like the normal fight. You flip the right card, and then you get a free combo. Okay, and just as normal, you can uh, hit him with a blizzard, or thunder even, to uh, make him be predictable. So now he's doing the jump move instead of the minigame. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can deal with this. In the speedrun, we basically do this. We jump reflect, he gets hit with the cards, and uh, you get a free combo. And I can do the loop again, like that. And now he's doing the jump again, I can jump reflect. That's one way to deal with it. Uh, the other way is to just move away, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to showcase this. I'll hit his revenge value in the air here, so he won't be predictable now. He's gonna go underground one more time. And that's the last of his underground phase for now. Okay, so I didn't hit his revenge value. He's gonna do this card move. You wanna s keep your distance from the card. Oops. And now he's gonna do the minigame, so you get a free minigame. And now I can go back to looping him. Yeah. He, all right, he's in the, okay, so his time bar is now in the DM phase, which is like roughly the trigger is right where it is right now. This DM is uh, really easy and predictable to dodge, but a lot of people have trouble with it, so I'll just, I'll explain it really easily with pauses. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is target him in guard. Target, guard. And now he's going to do a jump attack, so target, guard again when he appears. Target, guard. And now after this, he's going to teleport somewhere probably roughly in front of you if you haven't really moved around. So kind of just get ready to move backwards. Just like this. And now he's going to teleport again and probably be somewhere in the upper left. There. Well, on the wall, apparently. Alright, and uh, added in the DM for the data version, he does one more jump attack. You can uh, target guard it just as normal, but if you don't want to risk it, just simply do that. Just glide away or something. Alright. So last part of the DM is this stupid mini game that is very hard and I will probably mess it up because uh, it's going to be uh, tricky to do. It's just really fast. So you got to make all the uh, all the command slots on your command menu have to be circles. So you have to press confirm when they're circle, not X. So let's uh, try that. Alright, so the last one is super fast and we have kind of a trick where we pause right when it's an X. And when, as soon as we unpause and press circle, it's going to be circle. Just like that. That's how easy that can be. And now he's, uh, he's dead. Like, he's at 1 HP. He won't do anything unless I hit him. So now any finisher will kill him. And that's Luxord. Okay. So that's how Luxord goes casually. In a speedrun, uh, we do the looping method you saw the whole time. If we don't mess it up, that's basically how the whole fight goes. But I showed you how to dodge uh, 
if he does anything. Like, if you mess up the loop, keep your distance, wait until he does mini game or uh, jumps at you, you can jump a reflect or something. There, there's a bunch of options. Oh, goody, Vexen, all right. Vexen's extremely tough uh, at level one. Like like I said, this guide's gonna be for like any level, but uh, to do it at level one, you need to do a very specific strat if you want it to be reliable. So uh, we're gonna keep this on. We have fire. We have uh, we're gonna be using final form. So we have a uh, bond of flame on final form to boost fire damage because Vexen is weak to fire. Um, I'm gonna shortcut fire so I don't have to choose it. And I don't really want my combo pluses on for this. Air combo pluses can stay. You want to have a limit on, such as Dolan's uh, Comet or uh, Duck Flare. If you don't, then uh, you're probably going to get really fucked up in the DM phase. Alright, so let's uh, jump right into this, and I'll try my best to pull this strat off. It's a pretty technical strat, but this is a really easy way to handle the fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, thanks to best. If you fail Luxord's DM, just do not press anything if you fail the minigame. Luxord will repeatedly jump over you back and forth, and then he'll DM again in the data version, so then you get another shot. If you move at all, he'll start attacking. Little tip if you fail it. Uh, okay, Vexen time. So, this fight has a really weird mechanic. That circle under me is a data circle, right? And uh, as I'm, as it's under me, a bar in the upper left uh, starts charging up, and as soon as it hits a full bar, Antisora will appear. And uh, dealing with Antisora at level one is obnoxious. You're probably going to die, so uh, we're gonna avoid that best we can. So I'm gonna try to break his shield as fast as possible. With this setup, I can do it relatively easy with a slide dash, reflect, and do guard break. So we're gonna try that. Hopefully, it will work. Slide dash, reflect guard break is going to go off, and then he's going to move around, so I'm going to get a slide dash off into another guard break, and it will probably break his shield, but if not, I can do a finishing leap. Alright, so I broke his shield, right? So now he's vulnerable for a tiny bit. So, uh, we can just combo him. He actually has a pretty high revenge value. You can get, like, a few full combos off, I think. But, um, better yet, we're gonna just go in the final form and use Faraga on him to destroy his HP. This works even at level 1 really well, so we're gonna do that. Because our party members are alive just fine. Pause buffer. Alright, so we're gonna look how much damage this does. This is level 1, so imagine how much it does at higher levels. However, we can't go crazy like Ham on this guy. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because uh, he's about to hit his next HP barrier, which, uh... Alright, uh, basically 5.5 bars, he's gonna go into an immediate DM. And uh, you do not want to be standing right next to him when he does that, especially if you don't have second chance and once more, because then you're guaranteed dead. It is one of the most brutal DMs to dodge. But uh, fortunately, because I reverted from final form, I can use a limit as soon as I hit that barrier. That was close. Alright, so now I'm invincible. I'm kind of stalling with the, uh... I'm stalling with Comet, basically, while re uh, restoring my drive, attacking the shield. I can't break the shield during the DM, but I can uh, bring it to 1 HP, so that it will be broken by any attack after the DM. So, uh, I'm gonna be stalling with Comet. I'm gonna restore my, uh, MP, go at a safe distance, and... I kind of fucked up. <laughs> Well, okay, so basically I'm just stalling with Comet. That's the theme of this, so... Uh, oops, I botched it a little bit, but we're good. Yeah, that was a bit weird. So, uh, we broke his shield, uh, right after that. We reflected his giant icicle so that, uh, it broke his shield, and now he's vulnerable again. So I'm gonna... I can't go into final again right away because Gaffy has not come back into the party after the limit, so I gotta keep him kinda busy, but I don't wanna do like a crazy combo, so I'm gonna just, just do a slide dash into a fire. And now he's back, so now I can go in the final and just kill him. You could just like, okay, you could just do this the whole time, but final form is faster, so we're just gonna do that to speed it up. Wisdom works as well, but like I said, final is by far the fastest. And there, there's Vexen. 
Okay, so we got Vexen out of the way. I, I almost messed it up because it's hard to pause and stall the limit properly. I uh, dropped the first limit by pausing. But uh, I knew what I was doing, so you, you, you want to do two limits to survive the DM, and it's tricky to keep Dolan alive. You gotta kinda like get away from Vexen, or else uh, Dolan will die instantly to him. Alright, that's it's hard to explain uh, that fight really well. It's a pretty like complex fight, but the way I did it is uh, pretty easy, so that's another one down. Uh, let me see. Uh, we got Axel next. Okay. Axel is... Uh... The thing about Axel is... Uh, he can be easy because he's fairly predictable and he's loopable even but uh it's such a small arena that if you panic at all you'll probably quick run into the wall and die so if you are worried about that turn off quick run because that is not a fight the wall does uh massive damage to you and will kill you and i like, believe one shot at level one so don't uh have quick run on if you uh freak out with it all right so uh, I usually do not like combo pluses on Axel because one, you can't loop him like that, and two, uh, even casually, he'll retaliate sooner if you have guard break on, so I, I keep those off. And we're gonna want Blizzard on shortcut, I already have it. Alright, that was the only thing I did in the menu. So, uh, we're gonna jump into Axel now, and, uh, I can show you both the speedrun strat and the ca a casual strat, I guess. It's, uh, it might get me killed. This is a very dangerous fight when you're, like, at constant 1 HP, so. He's gonna start off the fight with his, like, uh, floor burning attack. So basically, I'm going to, uh. I, I can reflect it or avoid it, so I'm gonna avoid it and let him attack first. Alright, so he did the. that two hit attack there so now he's wide open to a slide dash so I can do a slide dash and uh, I can either do an explosion which will make him retaliate like immediately at me or I can do something even more clever and do blizzaga at him because he takes a ton of blizzaga damage so let's do that I did this wrong though <laughs> so we're gonna try that again I'm doing this wrong <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's what I want to do. Okay. So now I he, I actually did hit his revenge value, but he can't counter me because Blizzaga, for some reason, doesn't allow like certain kinds of bosses to retaliate right away, so it's almost the same as a normal revenge. So now he's going to like do the get back at me and probably go anywhere around me, so this is what you can do for this. You can reflect, Blizzard, Blizzard, and Blizzard. That's how easy this fight can be. Reflect, Blizzard, Blizzard, and Blizzard. I can do this the whole fight. If you don't do this the whole fight, you'll have to do what I was doing at the beginning, which is wait for an opening, which is very sketchy for this fight. So now I'm gonna get him to his DM phase. You can skip the DM, but it has to be done so specifically I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna teach you how to deal with it. All right, so now he's probably gonna DM any second though. Alright, so I'm just guarding it, easy, right? And when he gets up in the air like that, you kind of want to get ready to reflect so that he doesn't get hit you with the fires. Alright, so now he can do anything. So he, he can do that, he can do that. I kind of just have to wait it out if I want to be careful. Do not quick run. Alright, so now I'm going to send him into the wall. And uh, if you hit his revenge value at any point in this fight, he goes into the wall. And I didn't explain that yet because there's no need to do it at the beginning if you can do Blizzard damage. So uh, I'm going to hit him with an extra Blizzard. So now he goes into the wall, really fast RC. And uh, if you do the full RC now, it will get rid of the flyer fire floor, right? But that changes his attack pattern, so instead there's actually something more clever you can do. So we're going to do the first half of this, but not do the second half. So now this resets his revenge value back to zero and leaves him wide open, so guess what I can do? I can do it again. Well, actually, I fucked it up. <laughs> if I hit his revenge value, he would've went back into the wall. He's double DMing now. He can do that.
Alright, now he's open again. I'm trying to show this best I can, it's tricky. Alright, back into the wall he goes. RC, first half. Alright, this time I'll do it right. <laughs> I get a free combo. I can send him back into the wall. He's gonna do this again, and that's how you can loop him. So now he's down to uh, one bar, right? Uh, and I want to kill him, but you can't kill him when the fire floor is out. You have to get rid of it. So I'm going to do the full RC, and then he's wide open, and I can go for the kill if I do a proper combo that does enough damage. So we're going to do that. And the best combo is this. And Blizzica finish. Uh, Axel's a little bit tough to like do on the fly. It's a pretty hectic fight because you have no room to move around and stuff, so it's a little tricky but just do not quick run whatever you do never quick run in this fight if you like you see me dodge railing around that's all you have to do to dodge that get back move wait for him to get ready to just about attack you and quick run away from him or sorry uh, dodge roll away from him okay so now next we got Larxene. oh good Larxene's this I haven't died yet but I probably will to this fight trying to explain it all right so we got a uh, the best Keyblade is easily DP for this, and we do not want combo pluses on. I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep Guard Break on because most people do that casually. I don't want to take that off. Yeah, so no combo pluses on. Take all the combo pluses off. Trust me. Larxene, uh, if you want to get a full con, like okay, so Larxene's a very rough uh, data fight. She opens with an immediate thunder attack that, uh, if you don't reflect or dodge, can easily kill you at level one. So. The, the easiest way to open it is uh, just double reflect. And yes, I will be uploading this uh, to YouTube apparently. So uh, there's there's multiple ways to dodge the beginning. You can like dodge roll, quick run, stuff like that. But I'm just going to double reflect, moving a little bit forward before it. Party members are practically dead already. So she's going to get hit by this reflect and be wide open. The only way to stop her thunder at the beginning is to hit her. She'll keep going for a long time if you let her. Which is very dangerous. So now I get a free full combo. So I am, I'm going to hit her revenge value on here. So she's going to immediate thunder me. I can dodge it or get extra damage with a reflect. Alright, this is uh, where it gets tricky. She uh, can choose to do her clone move here. Which she didn't. Or uh, decide to do another thunder. So she's going to do another thunder. And I'm going to keep my distance but reflect slide dash into her. Oh, no, she decided to do it after all. Interesting. Okay, so that's reactionary, so it's easy if you do that. Alright, we're in the first phase of the clone phase, so... She's gonna... One of them is gonna teleport shortly after this. And, uh... What you wanna do is either guard it or reflect for free damage, so let's do that. Reflect the teleport. She didn't get staggered, so she's not gonna counter me. Another one's gonna do it. Reflect it. Alright, so that that's easy and all, right? Let me show you, uh how to try to get her in back into one form if I can. It's, it's a bit tricky to do though, so we're gonna guard this. So I'm gonna wait until one of them teleports and then go for like a really short combo into a finishing leap, so let's try that. Bam, okay. So now I have this one in the air and that one attacking and I should be able to get a quick combo off to get the RC with a finisher in the air. Oh, no. Oh. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> That, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, well, if you, if I did get that finisher in the air, uh, I would have been fine and got the RC and put her back together. But now they're in the second phase, so this is where it gets scarier. They both countered me, that's funny. Uh, okay, second phase clones. This is uh, where it gets scary. They, You see how uh, that one in the back is running back and forth and the other one ran at me? That means you're in the second phase. So this one is about to teleport, the one right in front of me, and it's going to jump attack me. You can target guard this, but that's risky, so instead I'm just going to reflect it. Double reflect is safer. It got stacked. The one of them got staggered, so I might get a counter here. We'll see. Yeah, I got countered. You got to be prepared for that. All right, so this is her first DM. When they split back, when they go back together and form as one, they attack you with a little DM. So when they both disappear, they're going to do like a kind of like multi-attack thing. So just go up against the wall and guard it. Or uh, get killed because you uh, paused way too late. Alright, whatever. I'm going to speed through that first phase. 
Yeah, uh, it's really hard to do that while pausing. Uh, oh, I think I'm all set for this. All right, I forgot I did the menu. I'm gonna speed through the second into uh, get to the second phase again, so I don't have to like uh, explain anything again. That's probably gonna happen on some fights, dodging their DMs. If I pause to explain it, I'm probably going to mess up some inputs. So let's uh, let's speed on through this first phase. Alright, what's she gonna do? Alright, she decided to split, but we're still in the first phase. Let's get her to the second phase again. Now they should be in second phase? Yeah. Okay, so now they're in second phase. You can kind of tell when they both disappear. Uh, here's the thing though, uh, one of them is open after the joint attack they just did. Well, actually both of them are open, but one of them will probably teleport away or attack you, so you can choose to do that or you can just kind of sit back. Like, I, uh, oh. alright, so one of them chooses to attack me, so uh, I'm gonna play it safe and just dodge it. You can quick run this too if you want, you don't have to reflect. Wait, if you want to, you can. They get staggered though, so you have to be ready for their counter attack. Like, that's their counter. So here they go again, doing this move. I can dodge it or reflect. Okay, let me try to pause properly this time. So now they're gonna do their DM again. They're gonna do their joint attack, so I'll try to ver uh, verbally say it without pausing so I don't die. Guard. Guard, do nothing. That last hit will not hit you because you're still invincible from the last guard. Uh, so don't, like, counter guard or anything. Alright, so she's wide open after this, so I'm gonna go for a full combo. Okay, so this is where it gets dangerous. So now she's in her second phase, she's probably gonna either split or run at me and do a massive thunder combo. So, uh, casually, it's a huge pain in the ass to deal with this, but there's actually a strat to deal with it. Uh, well, I can't show it if she does that, so we'll see if it happens. All right, I'm gonna try to get the loop going in this phase. Too. Like, there's so much to explain about this fight, so this is really difficult. Okay, so they're gonna do a joint attack, and uh, one of them's gonna be open, so I'm gonna go for a combo. See how that RC popped up? I knocked her in the air with a finisher, and the other one teleported. They're gonna- that means she didn't run at me, so that means they're gonna do their joint attack if I let this one do anything. So instead, I'm going to uh, hit her revenge value here with the explosion and then just dodge uh, her retaliation. So I dodge that, and guess what I can do now? I can keep it going just like this. So this way you can get through this entire phase just looping her. However, notice her HP. She's very close to the last phase where she'll do more of the attack, so I can no longer do this. The next combo, which is 5.5 bars, will send her into her last phase, and what this is going to do is make her attack more at the end of this, so I'm going to have to actually reflect it. Double reflect. And guess what? Now she's looped again. I'm not gonna do the whole fight like this though, because that's a bad idea. I gotta show you guys how to dodge this shit. Okay, so we're gonna let her do her little thing. Okay, so now they're in the last phase, so they're gonna join back together apparently. You can reflect here for more damage. Okay, so uh, if you do enough damage to her or make her retaliate or something like that, she will do her DM here. So this is a uh, this is a really easy to dodge DM, but uh, some people have trouble with it. So I'll show you the easy way. She goes into the center, powers up, and right before she's uh, done talking there or making a grunt or whatever, she's gonna unleash uh, the two giant projectiles on the side with uh, uh, thunder that kind of uh, tries to snipe you and kill you. So I wait for that, and then I get ready to double uh, uh, double jump glide really fast, so... Just like that. Go around in a circle. Everything will miss you. Alright, so that's how you dodge the DM easy. You don't have to use glide, you can use reflect even, but it's much easier and safer to glide. 
All right, so we're gonna dodge that move. Now she's in her last phase, clones. All right, you haven't seen this yet. Uh, depending on when they teleport together depends on what attack they're gonna do. A lot of people don't know this. If they uh, teleport roughly at the same time, they're gonna do their joint attack together, like on the ground. If one teleports way before the other starts to teleport, they're gonna do another attack. But this is completely predictable, so uh, all you can do, t uh, this is why this fight sucks. All you can do is guard and pray for the best, so let's see what happens. I got lucky, I'm gonna reflect for extra damage. They both got staggered. And uh, because of that, it made them uh, DM. Which is fine, we wanna get up, we wanna get back to single arc scene, the easier one. There she is, okay, we're gonna deal with the DM phase again. I, I wanna try to show the other attack, but I don't know if she'll do it. It's random. So let's see what she decides to do. Okay, see, one, they're teleporting together, you can tell, so they're unfortunately going to do their joint attack. So they're gonna die, I think, yeah. I didn't get to show it, but if one uh, teleports way before the other, just double jump glide in a circle and all their raining down attacks will miss. That's the only downside of a live tutorial, is they don't do what you want them to do to show everything, but that's all I can explain about that. Alright, so, yes, I'm not going to show Genie because that's like kind of an advanced strat that I do not want to show casual people. Alright, so now we got Lexeus, right? Lexeus, a lot of people consider the easiest one. It can be considered the easiest, but it depends on how you fight him, too. So I'm going to fight him like a casual person probably would. Uh, take off your combo pluses because his revenge value gets hit pretty easy with a standard combo. You don't want to extend it. You want that explosion to be the one that makes him retaliate. So the great thing about Lexeus is everything he does is not necessarily predictable, but it's reactable. So everything he does you can react to and safely dodge. And hopefully I, I don't get killed for trying to do this while pausing, but I'll try my best. Okay, so this dude has a power level, funny enough, and uh, it's in the upper right there. And as you can see, it's... Uh, pretty low right now but as the fight goes on he'll power up more and more and he actually gets stronger so right now his attacks will do like piddly damage but later on I'll get one shotted especially at level 1 and even at level 99 when he's maxed out he can bring you down to 1 HP with some attacks so uh you gotta watch out for that that he can be dangerous if you stall the fight too long but uh he always starts off the fight with his uh, slash attack so we're gonna go right up to him all you do is guard this and you get a free RC throughout the entire fight. Every time he does this attack, just guard RC. That stuns him. So now I get a free combo whenever that happens. This should make him retaliate, yeah. Alright, so now uh, he, I made him, uh, I hit his revenge alley, who he attacked me, so now he's gonna do some attack. He'll either do a jump attack or the uh, boulder attack, most likely. Okay, see how he threw his uh, weapon up? That means he's gonna do the boulder attack, so uh, this is... There's no really easy way to explain how to dodge this, other than maybe reflect spam, but uh, if you want to do it like with dodge rolls to be safer, uh, as soon as he throws it up, get ready to dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Uh, yeah, that's hard to do with pausing. I'll try it again without pausing. See how little damage he does now? Okay. Dodge roll, dodge roll, and dodge roll. It's really big visual cue. Dodge roll, dodge roll, and then you can reflect if you want to stun him. So now what's he gonna do? He can do a jump, you can dodge it or guard it. Dodge, dodge, dodge. See how he's not staggerable here? He's not open after that move at all whenever he has aura up. You have to either break him with an RC, or reflect his last attack to break his aura so that you get a combo. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh cool. Alright, so now he's gonna power up. So, every time he powers up uh, in this phase, he's gonna do a dash attack or uh, a spin around attack depending on your distance to him. Here's a little uh, fun trick you can do. I'm gonna actually deflect it. Oh, I didn't go off in time, so uh, that was free damage, but now I need to be ready to dodge this boulder move he's about to do. Dodge roll, dodge roll. I can reflect for free damage, remember that. I'll show you how to do it with all reflects. 
if I can. You can quick run it too if you want. And guard. Okay. If you would just do the other move. Well, I guess he doesn't want it. See, it's all reactable. This guy, he's not really good at catching you off guard if you're paying attention enough. That's the what makes this fight easy. Dodge roll, reflect, reflect, reflect. See, I, I, if I did explosion there, I would've got fucked up. Dodge roll, dodge roll, reflect. There, there's a lot of different ways you can dodge that move with reflect and dodge roll. It's up to you how you want to do it. Dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. Let him do another attack. Dodge roll, dodge roll. See, he's completely reactionary. It's relatively easy to learn this guy. But now we're getting down to the last phase. I believe that's now. Oh, not yet. Okay. Sometimes he takes a little bit more. Now he should. Alright, now he's in the last phase, right? When you see the aura get that big, he's gonna immediately jump backwards and do his DM, so, uh, this is a really easy to dodge DM, fortunately, so there's many ways. I'll show you an easy way, I guess. Guard as he comes at you. Guard. So that triggered, right? But I'm not invincible enough for the, to dodge this next part, so I can either quick run it or reflect. I'm gonna reflect because I pause, so my mental timing is off, so... I want to be safe. Okay, so he's invincible, but now he's going to attack me, so this is the hard part of the fight. Now he has massive range with his attacks, but uh, because you can react to everything, you can kind of just, like, uh, wait for the right attack. So now what's he going to do? He's going to do that to get the guard, right? And now we get a full combo. This is interesting. In the last phase, when you do the RC, it doesn't always hit his revenge value, so, like, I can choose to just wait it out, or I can try to bait him with a thunder to attack me. There it is. Dodge it with quick run. Dodge it with guard. Dodge it with reflex. So now he's gonna do the swipe again. I get another free combo, I guess. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but alright. It gets the job done. <laughs> so now I can just, I can do all this, get this free damage and the flex. React, react, and now I get a free combo. He's gonna counter, reflect for damage. He's gonna DM again, he does that. He can DM as many times as he wants. What's he gonna do? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. And that's Lexaeus. It's a relatively simple reactionary fight. I showed all of his moves, uh, I believe. They're all dodged with, like, uh, dodge roll, quick run, reflect. That That's the good news about him. Like, he's he may not be, like, predictable, but he's reactable, and that's what makes him a really fun and easy fight. Alright, so that's Lexaeus. We got good old Saix next. Saix might be weird. Okay, um... I prefer this guy without combo pluses as well. You know, this is kind of a theme for a lot of the org fights. That org is uh, combo pluses can be bad. Um, uh, in the speed run, we don't have guard break on, but I'll keep it on for casual feel, I guess. Um, this is still the best keyblade overall for this fight. Yes, this is going on YouTube, don't worry. Anything you missed, I'll put it on YouTube. I'll highlight it as well. Alright, so I went through a lot of the fights so far. And, uh, okay. So this fight works relatively the same. Just some mechanic changes in the way it, like, starts out is different. He doesn't immediately berserk. Instead, he charges. Uh, so you get a free combo at the beginning. Don't let that fucker charge. And, uh, you gotta be careful of hitting his revenge value because he'll counter you with uh, what he's about to do. So you can guard that or reflect it. He's charging up again. You can just kind of wail on him while he's charging. The combo I'm doing hits his revenge value, so he always counters with this. I can show you a way to get more damage, though. You can do this. That's how you can get more damage. It's up to you. So I'm gonna let him berserk now. Alright, so just like the normal one, you have to, uh, oh boy, you have to, uh, stop doing that. You have to get a claymore. 
The great news about this uh, version of the fight is you're actually invincible while holding the claymore, unlike the normal version, but the difference is you have to pick them up really fast and use them really fast, so I have to get in on him really fast right now. Or that happens. <laughs> it's hard to do with pausing, but uh, normally I wouldn't have messed that up. Free attack. There we go. Knock him out of Berserk. That's the only way to stagger him in that phase is knock him out of Berserk. So now he's uh, his bar's all the way down. I get free combos for a bit until he charges back up. D deal damage however you see fit. Oops. So now after this explosion, he should uh, Berserk. Alright, so now he's in uh, DM phase, so... He's gonna always in the data fight DM when he berserks when he's in the DM phase. So uh, this is a really tricky DM. I could die trying to show this, so maybe I should get panic limit ready. I don't know, but um, he's gonna dash around at random, kind of like following you, and you need to you, you need to really react to it. There's like a way to dodge it specifically. I'll try with glide first. So see which way he goes and go the opposite way while following him closely. Land, glide again. Oops, he's going the other way, so I need to turn around. So now he's get, now he stopped. I'm gonna actually poke him with magic now that he stopped, right? And the reason for this is his berserk bar will not charge more if I hit him with something right now. And you don't wanna do a physical attack because then he'll just immediately hit you. So now I baited him to attack to get a claymore. And now he can't DM again until he goes back into berserk mode. Reflect his counter. There we go. I'll try to explain whether one other knee trick to the move. It might get me killed though. Alright, so now we're in the deep phase again. Okay, here's an interesting thing. Every time he like uh, slams down the ground, it's a certain amount of hits. It's actually really predictable. And after a certain amount of hits, he's gonna choose one of two moves, the dash move or the jump move. And each time he uses one of those, he slams the ground one less time. So it's like slam, 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 dash, slam, 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 jump. Uh, I lost track, but then he eventually gets down to where he'll only slam it like two or once, uh, one or two times or something and then stop. So I'll try to dodge it like that if I can. And then he did jump, two, three, four, five, attack, one, two, three, four, dodge, one, two, three, dodge, one, two, yeah, it's, I just realized that there probably is delay because I forgot to set that, so it probably didn't match up perfectly, but you should get the idea, whoops, <laughs> I'm being a little sloppy, but yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just die now, I don't wanna, eh, yeah, I don't wanna beat this guy right now, that's the whole fight, no surprise. I could just kill him actually right now, but oh well. Doesn't matter. I want to move on. Ah, oh, thanks, for, uh, Poexel, for the host. Okay, so that's Psyx. So a lot of people don't know that DM mechanic, how he slams the ground like one less time after one of the moves he chooses during the DM. That's a easy way to keep track of when he's gonna jump or dash. Okay, so now we got Marluxia, and uh, oh boy, this is my f <laughs> this is my favorite fight. Uh, but I probably die pausing, but let's see what happens. So this fight is actually good with combo pluses. So I'm gonna turn those on. Marluxia, you the trick with Marluxia is you almost always want him to uh, hit his revenge value because then he becomes really predictable. He's really unpredictable if you uh, don't hit his revenge value. So you gotta make sure your combos are enough to make him teleport in the air. Alright, so the mechanic of this fight is he hits you with a doom counter that's uh, relevant to your level. So I'm level 1, so it's gonna be a 1. And uh, what this means is any hit that hits me with his scythe is gonna one-shot me. And uh, that's uh, pretty problematic at level 1. At higher levels, like if you were 99 waltzing into this, you, you probably wouldn't have to worry about dying to... Uh, his scythe because there's ways to restore it too however um, it, it, he has attacks that can still do damage though the scythe attacks do not do damage because they lower your counter but at level one everything kills you so it doesn't matter anyway 
So he starts off with that, but unlike the absent silhouette version, he doesn't attack immediately. He does the death pools right away, so because this is, I'll pretend like you don't know the fight well, and uh, I'm gonna dodge at the beginning. So he's gonna do Rose Cage. The Rose Cage will explode after a certain amount of time, and uh, it stops right before it explodes, so that gives you enough time to get out of its uh, uh, range of explosion if you're fast enough, so you can quick run or uh, glide or reflect anything that gives you iframes and moves you a decent amount. Alright, so he did those, we're safely on the ground. So he's walking slow, right? So I can't abuse like guarding, so I kinda just have to like get rid of this again. So uh, I could approach him and bait him to attack, but the safest option here is to hit him with something that isn't a physical attack, so we're gonna do magic. So what that does in the first phase when you hit him is it makes him do the spinny move, so that's exactly what he's going to do next. Guard it. That's all you need, one guard. It gives you all the iframes through the entire thing. Alright, so next bit, fun of, uh, next bit of information that's a bit fun is this guy has two RCs after this move. One is the scythe, if you're closer to the scythe, and the other is one on him himself where you uh, deal damage, a lot of damage. Look at his HP right now, right? See how it's almost full? I'm gonna do the RC right next to him, and watch how much damage it does at level 1. It did uh, over a bar of damage, so that's uh, pretty significant for level 1. So now I get a free combo after it too. And I have two combo pluses on, so this is guaranteed to hit his revenge value, so he's gonna counter with a teleport uh, swipe, so I gotta be prepared for that. You can dodge it like that or other ways, and uh, whatever way you feel comfortable, you can reflect it, you can quick run it. So uh, in the first phase, he's really predictable, because if you keep doing that, he's going to keep doing the spinny move every time you hit his revenge value. And then I can keep doing this. The, uh, the scythe, if you get the scythe RC, that restores your counter, but because I'm level 1, that won't actually do anything, so I'm just going to do this instead. Alright. Uh, because I'm doing different combos uh, than normal, I'm kind of uh, unsure about if he's in the next phase or not, so I need to react to this. Okay. So, yeah, so now he's in the next phase, so instead of doing the jump spinny move, he's going to go into the center and do the pool, so I'm going to let him do it, actually. So, let's avoid the pools, double jump, or just jump in general. He does the rose cage, and now, it, let's see what he does. So he's dashing at me, so I'm going to guard it, and guess what that's going to do? That's going to give me enough iframes to survive this rose cage. So I'm going to, and then I'm going to counter guard him. And uh, I have combo pluses on, so this is risky, but I'm going to do an air combo instead. So I don't go into the rose pools. That was close. This is a bit, I'm kind of like winging this, so uh, this is a little bit dangerous. There's better strats than this, but... Okay, so I didn't hit his revenge value as much as I wanted to, so he's not quite looping yet. So what's he gonna do? He jumped. Okay, so when he jumps at me, I have a rose cage on me. If I don't want it to explode on me, I can easily just guard whatever attack he does. And then I get a free combo, and this will certainly bring him back to doing the pool move. Dodge roll. Okay, now here's another bit of fun information for this fight. You can actually uh, stagger him when he appears in the center. Uh, the easiest being uh, fire, so let's do that. See how he appeared there? He was actually vulnerable, so fire staggered him. And guess what I can do now? I can just keep doing this until the last phase. Completely predictable. But this only works if you punish that. And it only works if you hit his revenge value. Alright, I'll let him pool again, hopefully I won't die doing it. So once again, jump or glide or something to make sure you're not landing on one. You what? Okay, so uh, what you also want to do here is kind of try to like hold backwards because sometimes he can do the move that pulls you in and if you're just standing still, he'll pull you into the pool. So I always run against the wall. So let's see what he does. Alright, he jumped. Now uh, you can guard this for invincibility, but uh, it's really risky because uh, in the data version his attacks are pretty long and he can push you into the pool so for safety it's actually best to glide away see how long that was that would have pushed me into the pool alright so he put another rose cage and now he's gonna dash at me you can tell by the animation what he's gonna do so now I get a free combo this might be enough damage but I'm not sure ah oh, it's too slow yeah 
So now we're... All right, see? See how he pulled me in? But I was holding backwards, so I didn't get screwed over. And I did the wrong RC, but it's not a big deal. You get to see the other one. I get a free combo either way. All right, I he should be in the last phase now. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. Like I said, this whole fight is basically hitting his revenge value every time with a full combo. So now he's completely predictable. He's gonna do uh, a slash attack, and then he's gonna do one of his two DMs. And which is he gonna do? All right, he's doing the one that uh, he doesn't come at you. He appears behind you. Okay, so this one, um, this one can be dodged multiple ways. Of course, you can use like a limit to be fully invincible, but I'll show you how to dodge it uh, without doing that. So uh, he's going to appear behind you, and there's going to be like explosions on the side and all that. And uh, after a certain amount of time, he's going to throw the scythe from behind you. And uh, if you're standing still, it's going to hit you, and at level one, kill you in one hit. So you got to avoid that best you can. So uh, the, I'll show you the easy way to do it. So uh, without quick running. So get my MP back. All right, get ready for this. We're going to go around in a circle, and right before he throws it, I'm going to reflect. If you go in a circle like this, they'll never hit you. Reflect, 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 reflect for safety. Alright, so notice how he got staggered there, right? Here's the problem. That actually added to his revenge value. So now I can't do an explosion. I can only do a guard break. So you gotta be very careful of that. And see how he teleported earlier? That You gotta be very careful of that. Alright, I hit his revenge value, so now he's gonna DM again. But let's see which one he does. Okay. Okay, I, I'm. this is really hard to do with pausing, but yeah, you can tell what he's going to do based on the animation. So he did the uh, spinning scythe move, and hopefully I can dodge this uh, after unpausing. But the way I do it is I guard it initially when it comes at you, and then I follow it. Oh god, not quite as terrifying as that. And you know, it's a little tricky, but you get used to it after a while. I'll try to do it without pausing now so it's not. Uh, it doesn't look as stupid. All right, well, he's going to do this again. I'll show you how to deal with it with Dolan's Comet. You can, you're, I'm invincible now, so you can just sit through this, stall the limit. You don't have to finish the limit, though. But I can reflect for free damage. And hit his revenge value. All right, what are you going to do now? Okay, good, he did that. So I guarded it right away, so once again, I'm going to follow him. I, I I prefer following him because if you stand still guarding it as it comes back at you, he can fake you out and go to the side. I don't like that. <laughs> see, see that? That was a fake out, but I'm following him, so it doesn't affect me. And it also lets you get close to him easily to punish him. All right. You know, okay, this might get me killed because pausing it's obnoxious doing this. Well, let me see. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't loop him. So I'm going to dodge this again. So get ready for the scythe throw. And he's about to throw it. Reflect. Alright, so I'm going to back off and see what he does. I didn't hit his revenge value, so he's going to teleport. Let's see what he does. He teleported right next to me, so he's doing this. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. And then he goes into a DM. I, I couldn't really pause to explain that. It would have got me killed, but... It's relatively easy to dodge that. If he teleports right next to you like that, he's going to slash you and teleport slash you. So let's try again and see if he does anything different. See, he has other, a couple other moves he can do. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yeah, I, I want to see him do something else, but he's kind of being... Okay, I, I have an idea. I'll, do the, I'll try to do the quick runs for that. All right, so I didn't hit him at all. Okay, he did Rose Cage, so uh, just uh, dodge around, and he's gonna do pools. All right, here. Okay, this is the pattern I wanted to see. When he does this, he's gonna do a douchebag thing. He's gonna put a Rose Cage around you and um, basically uh, try to uh, teleport swipe you. And uh, you can't just glide around because you might get hit by the swipe. So reflects your best option. Let me see if I can unpause and pull this off though. You can do this. Quick run. And then I got killed for that. Yeah, that, okay, so I'm not going to do the whole fight again. I just wanted to show what he does for other attacks, but that's another way to dodge that. 
So yeah, that's the that's that fight. He has one other attack where he does the normal side slashes, but uh, that's only if he teleports as, at a distance. He teleported right next to me, so he does the teleporting swipes on the ground. All right, let's move on. Oh good, Roxas. This is gonna be really hard to do with pausing. All right, Roxas is uh, he's probably one of the hardest at level one without a specific strat. We have two fairly consistent strats. I'll try to teach you one of them, I guess. Otherwise, it's complete luck how well the fight goes because he, he has a really bad DM that uh, is hard to get him a combo in after him when he's done with it so okay so I actually do want combo pluses on for this and uh, here's the thing about Roxas um, if you hit his revenge value in the second or third phase of the fight he can uh, do a keyblade spinning move that can kill you instantly so you kind of have to try to avoid that at all costs, so instead we usually don't let him counter you at all uh, in casual play. So let me try that. Will I beat them after? I mean, that's not really the point of this. Yeah, you can, there's other ways to dodge the wheel at the beginning, but it's better to probably just guard it. And aerial dodging it sounds like a really bad idea. <laughs> Alright, so Roxas opens the move with the same uh, attack every time. You can guard or reflect it. I guess I'll, I'll I'll reflect it. And then I can just get a full combo. Okay, so uh, this dude has a lot of magic resistance for some reason, so explosion's not going to do much. But I'm going to hit his revenge value, so he's going to attack me. Reflect it. You can react to whatever he does in the first phase easy. Keyblade combo, so... I'm going to make him counter again. Reflect for damage. Let's see what he does now. Reflect for damage. Okay, now, um, he's gonna do the Keyblade Steel move, I believe, but there should be a way around it. Let me see if I can pull it off. This is why we usually get Limit Form to get past this in the old RTA strat. Okay, here's his little uh, reaction command bullshit that the samurai have. It's very fast in the uh, the uh, data version, so uh, you kind of want to pause buffer it to be safe. It appeared right there, so I'm gonna quickly go do it. All right. Uh, okay. Let me let me limit limit for safety. This guy is uh, very rough uh, with the lasers out. He can easily snipe you if you glide around, which is safe. So I'm gonna do a combo, restore my MP, and then back off. I guess. I'm, I'm not going to do the speedrun strap. That's a bad idea to try to show that. So I have his Keyblade, so I can do a full combo and he'll get staggered. So let's see what he does. He's going to shoot lasers. I can dodge them with Glide. Oh god, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Okay, so now I bel I gotta remember how, uh, like I usually skip getting uh, grabbed, so I gotta let him steal his Keyblades back so I don't get like fucked up. Yeah, uh, that was a whoopsie daisy on my part. I'm gonna skip the Keyblade grab move. Basically, eventually he'll take it back if you're on the ground, but uh, trying to do it with the strat I don't normally do is not gonna work well. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that. That's You don't really want to get that unless you're doing the speedrun strat that we do now. So I'm going to show you how to skip it. It's not a fun move to deal with. Oops, all right, okay, I have those on. So, okay, so the way we do this is actually do a ton of limit form damage to him at the beginning to get past that uh, Keyblade move. Uh, so I'm going to show that. Yeah, stealing his Keyblades is actually like bad if you don't know what you're doing, because then that can happen. If he takes the Keyblades back and you do the RC, it's fine, but it's a gamble. Okay, so we're going to reflect into a... Yeah, we'll do we'll reflect into a uh, drive form. Okay, so we're going to pause buffer this, because I don't want to get screwed over. So he's wide open to a combo. Let's do a combo. Into R's. Okay. I'm going to do full R's, and you'll see why. As soon as this hits him, he's going to counter me, but because I'm not up against a wall with him, I can dodge roll it and then restore my MP and see what happens. He's going to attack. He's being a troll. Okay, so he's doing this now, so I'm going to guard this. 
attack. I can't finish it or else I'll get screwed over there, so now he's retaliating. Guard. And now I get a full combo again. Okay, so now he's in the next phase. I, it, it's so bad to pause like this. I can probably get killed here, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Pausing like that was a bad idea. This this fight's probably the hardest to pause on to uh, teach it. So okay, um, like I all right. So I want to. I gotta get past that first. So I'm gonna do it without pausing just to get past the first phase, so I don't have to like. Uh, keep dealing with that. I'll just do the, uh, I'll do it really fast. I taught you how to use limit form to get past the first phase, so let's do that. I could teach you also the old loop, but it's, uh, very random, and I, I don't know. There's just really, uh, outside of the two speedrun strats we do for this fight, there's not really a safe level one strat for this fight that's consistent is the problem. So let's get limit form going again. So I'm gonna hit his revenge value. Dodge. Oh, what a troll. Come on. There we go. All right, now he's in the next phase. So, okay, now I can actually do this with a pause because it's in a better situation. So uh, his his uh, HP barrier for the next phase is basically where it's at right now. So now he's going to start summoning light pillars around him whenever he does attacks. So you can't just, like, guard spam him. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm not going to hit his revenge value anymore so that hopefully he won't DM. So we're going to do that by uh, backing off at the end of the SARS. Alright, so what I'm going to do is stay relatively close to him and react to the moves he does. He's either going to do the Keyblade combo on the ground or the uh, grounded spin attack. Oh god, I got trolled. <laughs> well, I got DM'd. Yeah, it's pretty hard to pause. Okay, so now I get to show you how to dodge the DM, I guess. Okay, so when he goes in the center, he's invincible. All you have to do to dodge this is just glide in a circle while turning the camera for safety. It's very easy to dodge. Alright, this is why this fight sucks at level 1, because now it's completely random what he does, but I can kind of, with smart gliding and aerial dodging, uh, deal with it. So he did that, and then I get a free opening, because I reacted to what attack he did. React to it. Guard, guard, and guard. Alright, react to it. Get behind him for safety. Guard, guard. And guard. I'm getting behind him so the lasers can't easily snipe me. They appear less behind him when he attacks. Guard. Guard. This is how we used to do the strat. It was uh, relatively safe if you reacted well. So this will work out casually for people. He's not doing the other attack, which will probably kill me because I'm out of practice dodge rolling it, but... I'm trying to get him to do it. There it is. Alright, I dodged it successfully. <laughs> so you get, you get a punish every time doing this. Notice how he's not DMing. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much how the whole fight can go. <laughs> yeah, this is how the whole fight goes. I'll try to end it in limit form if I can, because that's how we used to do it. Alright, so I dodge rolled into a punish, and now I'm in limit form, so now I can do the crazy combos I was doing at the beginning. But I gotta make sure not to hit his revenge value. React to what he does. Pop an item. Guard. There it is. Full combo into ours. Pop an item. Guard. There. And now he's dead at this point. Ours will kill him. So, or sorry, last, uh, last Arcanum. I forgot they changed it in English. Um, I'm sorry, like, it was really hard to explain fully how this fight works, but, uh, 
this is how you do it at level one reliably casually I would say is do what I did there um, you don't want to hit his revenge value in the second and third phase it's a way to get fucked up so do what I did there the first phase uh, do whatever you want to try to avoid getting the keyblade steal um, okay because this is a tutorial I'll show one more time I'll show the speedrun strat for this if you want to see how we do it I've been I, I kind of I'm kind of itching to do this now I don't I don't feel satisfying doing the fight that slow <laughs> so I'll show you how what you can do if you do get the keyblades I'll show you why we do get them now yeah it, ours is uh, now called last Arcanum for some reason all right so we're gonna guard the first attack get in on him reflect into a combo make him retaliate react that was weird <laughs> I think I mashed it way too hard see that's consistent you can do it like that to get this every time all right so now we're gonna go limit format on him stagger falls buffer for safety oh boy that sucks the stretch is still work I just kind of fucked up some damage there <laughs> I'm making this up now because I kind of botched this. And there you go, there's the speedrun strat. There's a little bit of room for like uh, error as you saw without getting fucked up, but it's still kind of a gamble, so... That's how you can do the fight at level 1 if you really want to. I didn't really want to explain it while doing it, I wanted to do it quickly, but if you want to go over it later and like see what I'm doing there. It's it's between like manipulating his revenge value to attack at a certain time so I can use invincibility from ours to re-stagger him, along with making sure my MP stays up. Okay, so that's Roxas, we're gonna move on though. So that's the speedrun strap for that. Wait, now we got Demi, okay. Uh, I, I hate Demi. He's a very annoying fight because he has water clones up the ass. Alright, so the best Keyblade is most likely this for this because uh, he takes a ton of damage from fire. So we're gonna. I'm gonna put Ultima Weapon on final form for now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna equip uh, Bond of Flame. I want combo pluses on because uh, they're helpful for the water clones and I have fire on shortcut. So we're gonna go into Demi now and I'll try to explain it best I can. Yeah, I showed you the speedrun strat for it on top of casual strat for the sake of uh, you being able to choose what you want. <laughs> Alright, so now we got Demi, and fuck this uh, fight by the way, but whatever. Uh, anyway, he opens the fight with water clones the same, but the difference is he has four waves of it. And after the first wave, it's random. There's like a 75 amount, a 25, and a 50, I think. So we're going to speed it up by going Wisdom. And all you do in Wisdom is just pretty much spam fire to kill everything. In the speedrun we have uh, Gafi attacking with Tornado uh, throughout the fight, but I'm not going to do the speedrun strat. This is actually a casual strat. It just is the same at the beginning. So yeah, as you can see he has multiple waves. This is by far the best way to dispatch him. If you the other problem with the clones is unlike the normal version, you can't just attack them, they'll kill you. You can hit them with uh, fire, or uh, if you want the RC, you can hit them with blizzard. That's all you can do to them. Fire is by far, once again, the fastest though. 
Goffy, you're failing me, dude. <laughs> so now he's staggered, finally, and now this is where the real fight begins. Uh, wisdom form is a nice way to uh, wreck him pretty hard, so uh, I can I can say do this. Look how much damage it's doing. I can do it in normal form. Okay, I'm actually I'm not gonna go back into wisdom. All right, let's see, let's see. All right, he's gonna shoot bubbles. I'm gonna stagger him, hopefully. See how much damage that is? I backed away for safety. I'm kind of moving around, dodging his attacks. Look how easy this is. Alright, he's almost in the next phase, I believe. Alright, so now I'm gonna hit his revenge value. I showed you how to dodge attacks without hitting the revenge value, but now, uh, watch what happens when I do hit the revenge value. So I'm gonna do a full combo with a guard break into a fire finisher. Well, that didn't work, but he's gonna counter anyway, I think. Oh, no. One attack whiffed. Happens. Alright, he's doing a little mini DM, no problem. You have many seconds to do this. So, no reason to panic. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Trying to do this on the fly is quite difficult. Reflect that, by the way. Don't try to quick run it. Alright, so now I can easily get a combo by thundering the fire or the water wall. Wow, I cannot remember the old strap for this. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He's wide open after that. Full combo into fire. All right, so I hit. I finally hit his revenge value. That I, I'm trying to remember the combo, but if an attack whiffs, I can't do it. That's why I have. Okay, take off slap shot for this fight. I forgot. That's why it wasn't working. Slap shot can whiff on this guy and fuck up the revenge value. All right, so now he's uh, countering me, and every time he counters me uh, in this fight, he's gonna do that keep to the beat move. And all I do is kind of just like waltz around. Do not go backwards, but you kind of close in on him. So, oh god, I hate pausing so bad. And guard. It's that easy. I'll show it without pausing this time. Alright, so he's gonna do it now. I'll just move around. There, guard again. I'll show it again. Just do not move backwards, whatever you do. Well, not too fast backwards, rather. Like, those water... The water walls are, like, right behind you. So if you go really far backwards, you're gonna get wrecked. So this is how you loop them, if you don't want to deal with, like, bullshit. Alright, uh, so I guess I'll explain now. His HP is at the threshold where now he's going to start his final DM of clones. So the best thing you could do is get him into a wall, so I don't know if I can pull that off right now. Oh, I can, okay, easy. He's at 1 HP, he's gonna do clones. Uh, I'm, I'll show you Blizzard. This is how you do this. Watch how many kills you get off of this. So I'm gonna go uh, Wisdom here. And Wisdom, once again, easiest way to deal with the clones. The 50 clones can be dangerous if you try to do it normally, so I, re I highly recommend Wisdom. Really, Gaffy? <laughs> this is actually dangerous because I only have two left, but whatever. I don't know if he has any more, actually. He might not. Oh, yeah, he might not. Yeah, so this is the 99 uh, clones, but uh, I'm fine because I'm wrecking them. The 99 clones is pretty uh, tight when it comes to uh, getting all that wisdom fire off. It went so well, I ended with 11 seconds, almost 12, because he was in a corner, so the clones just got stuck in the corner and died the fire. That's the trick. If he's in the center, you can still do it, but it's a lot riskier, so, you know, if you can get him into the corner, do it. Alright, so yeah, he's pretty much uh, open to death now. And dead. I could have just fired him, but why not go for swag? So yeah, after the 99 clones, he's finally uh, able to get killed. If I brought him to 1 HP before he did that final DM, it wouldn't have killed him. hes It's like some other fights, he can't be killed by uh, just being brought to 1 HP sometimes.
All right, so that's Demi. Uh, it's really tricky to explain. Like, to get him in the loop, all you have to do is just hit his revenge value after the set of water clones, and he'll always do the keep to the beat. Make sure you keep punishing him and making him hit his revenge value to uh, retaliate. All right, so that's... All right, Zex time. Oh, dude, we're almost done. All right, so we got Zex next. Um, uh, for this... Hmm... I'm not going to do the speedrun strat, so if you're not going to do the speedrun strat, you don't want to have Bond of Flame on. This Keyblade... Yeah, it's really... You can use this, Hero's Crest, or uh, Bond of Flame if you're going to go final form. So you can do either one, but I'm going to casual it out a little bit with it, like most people would. Take off my combo pluses, uh, so I have standard combo. I believe I'm all set for this. So uh, we're gonna go uh, try to do Zex. So you'll be able to see Book World and how to deal with it. A lot of people have trouble with Book World, but it's actually really easy if you uh, do a couple simple things. Yeah, okay. Uh, we don't use Ultima because it's not really that great. Like, it's a good Keyblade, but it gets outclassed by DP and Hero's Crest depending on ground or air combos. And some others too, like Bond of Flame for Fire. Ultima only excels really in like uh, fast MP. So they they get trapped in books right away. If you don't want to get sent to Book World right away, just break the books with Fire. And then if you do that, you can get combos on this guy for free. So all this, I'm getting these free combos on him because uh, he's trapping them individually. All right, finally in Book World, <clears throat> after you trap both of them, he traps you for sure. Uh, ooh, actually, it's funny. You can kind of see him in the right with the circle. Uh, so I already know where he is because I paused. But uh, if you don't, what you want to do when you come in here so that your party members also survive is go right into a limit. So now what happened, and this is great for level 1, because now he's not able to trap me in a book, so... Now I'm free to move around without uh, being trapped in it, because at level 1 you're get pretty much guaranteed dead if that happens. So Limit is by far the safest option here. You can reflect, but Dolan will probably die, so you... This is the safest option, going in the Comet or Duck Flare or something. So I know where he is, I'm gonna target him and attack him. Bring his HP to 0 to get out of book roll, basically. Alright, so I brought him the 1 HP, so now as soon as this limit's over, I can just kind of run a train on him. So now I can combo him again. He's gonna trap them. I'm not gonna bother releasing him this time. Oh. Extra di uh -huh. I didn't go off. That's weird. Okay, so now we're back in Book World. I'm gonna immediately Comet. There he is again. He's not even out of the first phase yet, because he has more HP in this. Alright, so I don't have to end the limit because I uh, hit his... I hit, he went to 1 HP. <laughs> so we're probably going to be in next phase after this. Yeah, he trapped me immediately. I did wait, I did a lot of damage to him, and now I'm in the next phase. So now we all got trapped at once. No chance to break anyone out. Alright, so now he's going to open with a different attack. You see that book right there? That's him. He's about to uh, trap me in my commands, which is deadly at level 1. So to prevent this, limit again. <laughs> you can reflect it too, but like I said, Dolan will die, so you're kind of gambling if you do that at level 1. So now I was able to get a full combo off on him. He's trapped. I'm going to speed this up a little bit to get to the next phase with final form. I don't remember the barrier for the last phase, so I'm gonna get him relatively close, I think. They're not attacking, so he's gonna retaliate eventually. Uh, f mm, just do it. <laughs> Alright, we're all trapped. Uh, I should be in the last phase now, let's see. I'm gonna reflect this. I get a free combo. Alright, we're in last phase, so right after that attack, he will always transform it. So you are actually completely safe to not use a limit, because he won't do like any other attack. So because of that, now I'm free to move without Dolan or anything dying, so here we go. The DM. 
The DM is basically a mini game with uh, Zex, and uh, you have to go into the right spot at the right time. And here's an easy trick to keep track of it. It trans it uh, it basically uh, teleports to one of the three spots uh, 13 times, funny enough. And on the 13th one, that's the one you had to go in. So we're gonna count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next one is. Yeah. You gotta be really fast in that version to pull this off, so you gotta react really fast. You can pause buffer for safety if you want. He's already at 1 HP, so I don't need to, like, uh, hit him again. I just have to wait for that to run off, and then I get that. Party members are still alive, so I don't have to revive him. I can just, once again, run a train on him here. He's probably gonna trap me again. So once again, he's gonna do this attack. I'm gonna reflect it. I get a free combo. He's gonna transform Arena. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There it is. Party members died. I'm actually gonna revive him with a Mega Elixir. You can do it manually if you want. However, you whatever you have equipped for this. So I'm gonna hold off damage, because now he shouldn't trap me. He'll trap one of them instead. And now I get another full combo. Well, if I can hit him. So one more trap in Book World, just to show you for sure how you do it. Once again, reflect. That, it's just so effective to do that, there's no reason not to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right here. Doing this, you can avoid his dumb explosion move every time. And now we have a dead Zex. So yeah, that that's pretty uh pretty effective, I would say, to handle it like that. Just oh, whenever you get thrown in the book world for the first two phases, always limit with Dolan so he doesn't die and you're invincible. So you can track down whichever one is Zex and uh, kill him. Uh, and um, in the last phase, just reflect and you're fine. You can dodge the exploding books with uh, moves, but it's very dangerous. There's no reason to. All right, so the last one I. Uh, haven't shown is uh, uh, Zemnus. Okay, Zemnus is a. Uh, it's a pretty simple fight, but so people get killed by it pretty often, surprisingly, in the data version. So uh, let me think. I'll have two combo pluses on. I think this is. I gotta remember the old strat for this. I'm not gonna do the speedrun strat. So uh, I'm gonna once again show you uh, how to do this. He opens his fight differently than the regular version. He doesn't do the building RC until the end when he's about to die. Like four or less, five or less bars, rather. So instead, he's going to open with a slash attack. For safety, I'm not going to do the speedrun strat and just guard it. Guard. Oh. Well, if you get hit by it, you got to go into a limit or else you're dead at level one. So we're just going to do that. Free combo. I know most people don't have Mega Elixir, so they probably can't heal if that happens. But, like I said, I can. All right, so let's see what he does. Oops. All right, so I'm not gonna explain it right now. I'm just gonna get him back into a teleport so I can do the strat. All right, so now he's teleporting, right? So here's the easy way to deal with this so you don't have to deal with any bullshit. As soon as he's about to uh, teleport next to you, just double reflect. He gets stunned every time. You gotta be wary of revenge value though. Like I can't get my explosion off with full combo pluses. This is how I can do this whole fight until he decides to DM. Oops, Davies. My timing is probably off. If he does guard, you can't do uh, can't do the same thing. Okay, he DM'd right now. Basically, the screen turned dark, and now he's doing the combo move. You can't just reflect right through that. Uh, you have to Trinity or guard it. So, because I committed to a reflect doing the double reflect strat, I have to go into a limit like I just did. And now I have no MP, so I gotta get it back. I'll, I'll show you another strat. Hopefully, this doesn't get me killed, but let's see what happens. You can guard. Easy peasy. Thank you. 
I'll try it again. You have to be really close with, or precise with the guarding. You have to wait until he stops teleporting, or else he'll go behind you and fuck you up. See, like that. It was really late. Uh, he, no, he's not at the threshold yet. Okay. And now he is. Now he's at the threshold where he's going to do the building RC after this. And this is... You can actually end the fight now. I don't have to do, like, five more bars of damage. So, yeah, that's two different ways to deal with this teleporting. Double reflect or late guard as soon as he is about to stop. Okay. Uh, Zemnus has three RCs. Not everybody knows this, so you wait for the last one if you want to bring him to one HP or else you're going to have to fight him more. So we're going to wait for it. And this will pretty much end the fight. He'll be at one HP. Any hit, any finisher you do will kill him. Just like that. That's, uh, let's send this one down. Alright, final send this. This, this fight is terrible on 2.5 because the grab move is harder to deal with. I can't do the swag strat with that. Alright, for final send this, I prefer, uh, not having a combo plus on. I'm, I'm gonna try to casual this out so that people, uh, know what to do, though. He opens the fight with the orb move, and, um, a lot of people have trouble getting in on send this, but it's actually really easy. So, don't worry about the beginning, he's gonna do orbs. You can kinda just go to the side with Quick Run and get in on him like this. And now when he does this, I can just reflect it. And then I get a full combo, because the orbs didn't hit me. So I hit his revenge value, he's about to do bind. I do not recommend actually doing it in this version, it sometimes doesn't work. It doesn't, the RC won't show up, so instead just dodge roll towards him. And then you get a free combo. And I pushed him out of bounds. Okay, perfect. This is a great test. Uh, he should be at the threshold now where if I push him out of bounds, he will grab me. So let him, I'm going to let him grab me. For safety in 2.5, the, R the RCs will not randomly show up and kill you at level 1. So the best thing you can do here is actually just go right into a session. Mash it. Doing that is uh, stopping this guy from fucking me up right now. I'm invincible. I can land and use whatever healing I got. And I can kind of just stall it out until the end. And now he's disappeared. I wait for him to appear. Alright, kind of let him do his attack. I want to wait until I get an opening. And it's tricky casually, so I'm trying to think about this casually. Reflect, slide dash. That's how you deal with that if he does the arm move. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. See how I'm kind of looping him here? It's easy. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. <laughs> He'll eventually break out, probably. If he does the orb, you have to reflect. Dodge roll. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> I should have reflected it. I was thinking about explaining how to dodge it. You can dodge this. Uh, wait, no, actually, this is good. I'll teach you how to deal with this crap. Alright, so now you're playing as Riku, and uh, there's an easy way at level 1 to deal with this, hopefully, if I don't fuck it up. I'm gonna try not to pause. Just, you gotta attack Zemnus. Alright, so now I have safe movement towards him. I gotta try to get in fast, though, or I'm gonna die. So I can't be too slow. There it is. If you're not at full HP and you get caught by that, you're in trouble. Alright, so there we go. There's a... Wow, that's a really weird animation for Final Zemnus. Um, so yeah, now he's staggered after this, so uh, Riku might heal me? No? Thank you. Okay, I get a free combo, basically. Oh, I didn't put air combo pluses on. Whatever. Okay, now we're in laser phase. I kind of got jumbled because of not having a combo plus on in the air. Uh, so now he's in laser phase. They're really fast. Uh, all I can say is just try to guard them when you learn how to guard them. Like, you shouldn't be learning these fights at level 1. Practice it at a higher level. 
see how fast they are, and now one of them is open. Oh god. Okay, yeah, so uh, if you hit his revenge value at any point in this fight at, uh, after he uh, breaks out of the loop, he might grab you. He was about to grab me, but I reflected and it went into a session. So you can either... I actually wouldn't recommend casually doing that unless you have a good eye for the grab move. So I would recommend just getting grabbed and doing session again, like I just did. So now he's going through the grab move again for safety in 2.5. You have to do this or you're going to die at level 1 randomly. So I'm kind of stalling. He's done with it now. More guarding. Guard. Guard. See, I'm just guarding through all this. I could reflect it, but I'm showing you how to guard it. And now I can get reflect damage here if I want. Reflect damage. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be ready for that. I moved away because I knew he was probably gonna do that. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> That's not something casual people do, I think. So now I'm kind of just once again stalling through this with session. You don't want to spam it because then it will do the dumb finisher and then you might get killed at the end. Whoa. Okay. So now he's open here. Reflect right next to him. Wait for a stagger. Go for a combo. I'm gonna back off. Not hit his revenge value. I'm doing the speedrun strat because I'm dumb. So now I got him like in a little bit of a laser loop. He's not gonna grab me if easily if I don't do if I don't hit his revenge value. So yeah. If I keep not hitting his revenge value, he's just gonna keep lasering me usually. If you're using Session to dodge the grab move, by the way, make sure you don't run out of healing items. Like, I have Mega Elixirs, so I'm pretty sad, but casually, you probably won't have it. Grab me again. It, it, he still can grab you if uh, you don't hit his revenge value, but it's not common. Yeah, it's, it's hard for me after speedrunning these fights to, like, think about how people handle these casually. I can't believe that actually hit me. There it is. Yeah. A good trick is to stay still when he teleports. If you stay still, nothing should hit you. If you react fast enough. Ah, I keep doing that out of habit of the speedruns. <laughs> you don't want to really reflect there. There's no reason to. So yeah, I'm taking this really slow for the sake of showing it, but yeah, now I can pretty much bring him to the end. Watch this, see? I can't kill him right now because he's he has to do his dumb DM move, which he's going to do here. And just on the off chance somebody doesn't know what to do here, all you do is mash uh, the attack button in triangle, whichever version you're playing. Because if you don't, this is what happens, and you don't want that to happen. I guess we'll sit through this. Um, I think that concludes this. Does anyone have any questions about some of the fights that I can explain? Because this is going on YouTube, so if you have any uh, any more questions, uh, by all means, throw it out there. This actually wasn't a bad tutorial. I think I only died like twice, un unintentionally, while pausing. It's hard to uh, it's hard to talk about stuff while pausing and dodge right after. I can show Terra at the end if you want. Uh, no, I don't see inputs get dropped. No one has any questions? Alright, everyone just wants to see Terra, I guess. Alright. So he's a watch this. Uh, he's immune to thunder in this fight for some reason. So you gotta. I guess I'll swag finish him. I have to. I have to use. I have to use the one attack. Infinity. Oh, it was the shitty one. There. 
All right, I think I'm gonna end the recording now. Let me think, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Yes, there is a guaranteed loop on Roxas. I showed it in the uh, tutorial. You'll see it on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Some of these aren't beaten because I death I died on them either on purpose or by accident to keep moving faster. Like Zaldin was slow anyway, but everyone else I took out. You were never able to thunder him in the data version. <laughs> Zemnis is always last in our RTA because it just feels right. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop the recording, no one... Um...